Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at you guys with a brand new video on these Adidas Ultra Boosts right here. Now before we get into it, I did make a previous video regarding this shoe right here. You can go ahead and click this link in order to check that out if you guys missed out. Basically what I did was showed you how to black out the midsole on your Adidas Ultra Boost. Now this video is going to show you guys how to remove the caging on this shoe right here as well as lace it up because at first I was kind of having problems with the whole lacing system but eventually I figured it out and I also wanted to give a shout out to my boy T Blake for making a video on how to do this. That's how I learned it. That's the person that I learned it from. So big shout out to you T Blake for making that tutorial like... I want to say half a year ago, that's mad crazy. T Blake was doing his thing even before all these collabs started removing the cages. So yeah, man, you a real sav. Without rambling on too much, let's get right into the materials list. The first thing you need is a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost. Now I will leave a link in the description for this pair right here. Hopefully I can find it for retail because these pairs have been moving very fast. If not, I will drop an eBay link to another seller. The next thing you guys need is a Fisker knife exacto thing. I'm not sure what this one is called exactly, but it says Fiskers on it. And this is from Angelus Direct. Pretty much what it is is an exacto knife with a little finger hole right here, so you guys can cut with extreme precision. You can also use a small knife, exacto knife, whatever works for you, but I definitely do recommend picking this up because of that precision with that uh with the little finger hole thingy right there. It's real dope. And the last item is optional, but I do think that the Yeezy 36 inch rope laces from Angelus Direct look amazing with this shoe. You guys can go crazy with the laces. I do recommend keeping it as short as possible, so 36 is the perfect length in my opinion. The link for this and the Fiskers will also be in the description down below. You guys ready? Okay, you're ready. Let's get right into the tutorial. Let's get it. So the first thing we have to do when we do this custom is remove the laces. So let's get right to it. Boom, there we go. Laces are off. Now we can start removing the cages. And like I said, I will be using this Fisker knife thingy-mabobby right here. And what we're gonna do is just start cutting the stitching along this area first and then we're gonna work our way up this way. Now that's just the way I prefer to do it. You guys can do whatever you want, whatever works for you. So I had to bump the brightness up so you guys can see the threading a little bit easier. What I'm doing is just peeling this plastic part back so then I'm able to see the stitching. Now what we're going to do is just ride along this plastic part so then we avoid cutting the uppers of the shoe and then we're just gonna lightly just hit it like that. And as you guys can see, it removed the first thread. And if you guys have extra threads, you can also pick them out like that. I believe we're at the end right here. So now we go to the next part. So we're gonna start cutting right along this midsole right here. Now it's a little bit harder for me because I'm trying to film and cut at the same time. But all you're gonna do is like start the cut very, very close to the midsoles. So let's see, like right there and then just poke in a little bit, poke in, poke in, and then work your way along this edge. Make sure you take time on this part because this is one of the most noticeable spots that you can tell if people mess up. So you want this as close as possible so then you don't get like a piece right here that's left. You want it as flush as possible, something like this. All right, so now that we got this line out of the way, we're going to move ourselves up along this edge and then we should be good to go.
So the cage has been fully removed at this point, and like I said, this part is white right here because the cage was blocking it when I painted it. So obviously I wasn't able to get into this groove right here, but I will go over it with some Angelus paint and blend it into this midsole after this tutorial is done. Before we wrap this video up, I'm gonna show you guys how I laced my Ultra Boost. Now there's no particular way to lace these, there's no right or wrong way, I just wanna make that very clear. But there are some ways that you can do it to make it look like this. So if you guys are going for the same look that I did right here, you can follow this tutorial. If not, that's cool, you could exit off of this video right now, everything is done pretty much. So yeah man, I'm gonna show you guys how to lace these real quick, and you guys will be set. We're gonna take a look at this from a burp, 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 bird's eye view. Ch -ch 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 view. Ch -ch -ch. Shout out to my man DJ Dells. We're gonna put this in the left one right here, and we're gonna count eight holes diagonally. Just follow, follow the yellow brick road pretty much. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the eighth one, that's where you're gonna go in on the shoe. Now you just pretty much work it in there and then the, it will eventually go in, press it in, and then you're gonna do the same for this side. So you're gonna start on the right hole this time. And we didn't thread it all the way through because we're gonna come out this time. So we're gonna come out of this hole right here. You're gonna go diagonally down, leave two spaces, and then come out of the third space right there. Once you guys get that through, then you can start making sure that your laces are even. So you're gonna pull it up like so. Just make sure that it's all nice and even. And then we'll get to the next hole. So now that we have everything all nice and symmetrical, we're gonna do the crossover now. We're gonna leave one space diagonally. Right there, you guys see the hole, right? So we're gonna go leave that space, and then we're gonna go in right here. And we're also going to continue that on the other side. And now we need to come out of these holes. So what we're going to do is count from here we're gonna go up one, up two, and then come out on the third one diagonally. I'm sorry if this is confusing. This is just how I did it. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know how I did it. But like I said, you guys can do your own lacing method. All right, so then we're gonna count up. One, two, come out on the third hole right here. Boom. Okay, and we're almost done guys, we're almost done. Got a couple more to do. This one goes in one space, and then it goes in the second space. Right here. You gotta work it through the knit a little bit. For the last hole, you're just coming out of the one diagonally right next to it. This one right here. And then you just tie it like a regular shoelace. Boom, boom, boom. And bam. So there you guys have it, the Adidas Ultra Boost with the cage removal. 
new laces as well as the blacked out midsoles. The lighting right here is kind of making the midsoles look a little bit more glossy than they are in person, so do keep that in mind. My bad if the lacing tutorial seemed kind of rushed. I do apologize for that. I hope the tutorial at least gave you an idea on how to lace these shoes. That's pretty much it for this pair right here. If you could go ahead and hit that like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and like this video, please hit that subscribe button to see more videos in the future. Anyways, it's Sneakerhead in the Bay. Catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.